everyone, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. I have another quick trip bag for you today. I did this a couple weeks ago, but I wanted to share how I get four bags out of one pair of thrifted denim jeans. I cut my pants leg, so I get two off of each pants leg, but I leave that bottom hem on and cut off the side seams. Now your back side of your pants leg measures a little bit wider. This one is eight and a half inches wide. And then my front side is seven and a half inches wide. And you do want to select a pair of jeans that is not any smaller than that seven or seven and a half inch wide. After the side seams are all cut off. And you can see now as I fold it how that the shape of the bag is going to look. So I'll be using that hem as the top of the bag. I also wanted to share with you, I do make denim bags from the top of this. So actually I'm getting six bags off of this pair, one pair of denim jeans. I do have a video where how I make these um, fun bags and I'll link that down below. One of them has the fly and the other one's a little bit narrower without the fly. I do put the magnetic little on the back pocket. So great for your, your to throw your um, keys in or something, keep it a little bit more secure but just a real fun look. And again, I'll link that video as well. I do have a piece of heat and, uh, excuse me, a warm and natural batting on the back. Cut that a little bit bigger than the actual leg. Um, and then I'm just channel quilting this um, heat and this batting on the back side of this denim just by running a stitch. I did it right down the center. I just eyeballed that. And then using my gauge there, I do have my walking foot on, which really helps when you're sewing batting. Um, and then using that gauge just to get my stitches somewhat, somewhat even. And here's what it looks like. Uh, my next thing I'm going to be doing here is trimming these side seams of, or just getting this um, batting. Now, if you're going to make any of these, I would recommend not... Um, cutting that batting away from your um, seam allowance. Mine got a little bulky on the sides, but I saw you would do want to do that. Now this is the pocket, and the pocket measures the same width as your bag by 14 inches. I have a piece of three by five there. That's going to be for the loops, and the lining itself is cut the same um, as as the as the outer bag. So this is kind of what it's going to look like. Um, I'm going to be putting that that back pocket in now and I've done this several times on my channel again so if it's you know it might be a repeat for you but it goes really quick don't be afraid of zippers I was afraid of zippers for years so this was this was a step for me I'm drawing these this rectangle um, and it, the rectangle is about oh, about an inch away from the side seams so it's going to measure approximately oh six inches six and a half inches or so by three eighths of an inch. And then I'm drawing in my, these are gonna be my cutting lines, but that outer uh, box is actually my stitching line. So I'm gonna take this to my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew right on that box, on that rectangle. I have this laying about four inches down from that hemline. I'm just gonna be stitching and I do use its tinier stitch for this. So you can see how I have that laying down or laying there right below my that, that hem, about four inches down from that leg, that jean hem. Have that all stitched into place now and now I'm gonna be cutting that center line. And I cut right up to, don't cut through my stitching, but I wanna cut as close as I can. Just being careful not to cut my stitching. And now it's a matter of just stuffing all this through to the back side and then I'm going to be pressing this, just getting it nice and even, getting as much as that pocket lining to the back as I can. And this is bulky and so a little bit of it's going to show us, but it's pretty, it's pretty, lays pretty nice and smooth. And you can see it there again, working, just getting everything flat. Now it's on to that zipper itself. Um, the very first thing I do is zigzag that top shut. Let's take it to my sewing machine and I zigzag across that. That really helps holding everything together while I do this next step. Adding my 
This is a double-sided quarter inch tape. And again, everything will be listed down below if anybody wants my supplies. Um, this is a sticky tape on both sides, basically with a paper that I will be pulling away. Such an easy way to put a zipper in. Now this is the top side of my zipper. And I'm just gonna peel that paper now and leaving that sticky side on both of these here. And you can see that sticky side there. And then just laying my zipper, I'm just centering it underneath this opening. You do have a metal piece on the left-hand side of your zipper. You wanna make sure you don't um, sew through that. And so I'd like to be able to see it a little bit on the front side. And then I will stitch going all the way around here. And I top stitched that and now I can cut this zipper away. My pocket is almost complete. I do want to close the front, the top and the sides I leave open because those get caught in with the actual seam or the side seam of my bag. On to doing this snap. I've again shown this several times. I put the snap on the, the bag first because I want the back of that to be covered with the lining. And then the, the flap snap I'll put in later after the lining is in. But I'm just laying that washer on the top and I'm just eyeballing the center, getting it as close to the center as I can and about an inch and a half down from the top. Just laying that snap, that, the that washer part of it. This is a four part uh, magnetic snap. Marking that, the little slits there. And then I just take a seam ripper and I just cut those, those little holes. And then I can put my prongs of my snap through those holes. Add the little washer. And then I just have a little hammer here that I'm gonna hammer those prongs down into place. So that side is completely done. Now it's on to my strap loop. I have my three by five and I just folding it and folding it again um, and then top stitch on both sides of it. Cutting it into two, folding it so raw seams are together, raw edges, and pinning it about an inch and a half down from my bag. Again, with my, all my raw, my raw edges matching. And I'm gonna take this again to my sewing machine and secure that into place. Onto the lining, I'm just going to fold that top lining down um, to expose that, that hem. And I'm gonna leave that open and that's how I'm gonna turn my, my bag. Stitch all the way around this, again, leaving that top open. The top is open. I've got this crazy looking piece here, but trimming those corners and then just getting in there and I'm gonna turn that through that top opening. I'm getting a little, my pokey tool in there and getting the corners rolled out and rolling those seams and this giving it a nice iron. Pressing that top down. And then top stitching all the way around this. Almost done. I just have to fold this up. I'm going to be putting that top snap in. Um, but first going to be closing the side seams. Just sewing through all that. That's And then it's on to my, my snap again. I just place that snap right, right in there, right? I just get, it's magnetic, so I get the placement. Again, using my th seam ripper to poke my holes. And then getting that, those prongs through. And I'm sorry I'm off screen here, but I'm just um, putting that washer on top of there and again, pounding it down, those prongs down. And there you can see it. I wanna cover up that, those prongs so I'm just adding a little piece of fabric. And then this motif is just from a tablecloth that I got at the thrift store. It had some stains on it, but I cut all these little motifs off and it's just been a great little embellishment. I'm just adding some flower and a little piece of fabric underneath that using fabric tack glue. I'm gonna be zigzagging this onto place. 
I'm using my twisted fabric cord, not only for the embellishment to go across this, but also for my cord itself. And I will be listing that down below for you as well. I show how I create this. It's just made from strips of scraps of fabric. Real colorful, I just it's just fun to work with. I'm cutting about 60 inches of it. Um, I will be taking this to my sewing machine. You'll see here, um, when I sew that on, I will also be sewing that uh, opening. But first I do wanna zigzag all the way down the center of this strap. This will really help just keep this more secure. Also using a zigzag to secure this motif. Being careful not to sew by that snap at all. And then sewing this little embellishment or this trim on. And this is going to close that little opening on the back there. And then just putting the strap through my little loops, tying a big knot just to keep it so it doesn't pull out. And there we are. Again, that zipper is great for your um, your keys. This is I get just a wonderful bag for just a quick trip around town. I hope you enjoyed this, everybody. I've got some pictures at the end here. Hope you have a chance to create. It's so fun to think that you get four bags off of one thrifty pair of jeans. Um, just a great, a great use of fabric. Bye for now, everybody. Happy creating.